Trying to get that all in the frame. So that crank turns this and that moves the weight in and out, but there's a stop on here. Okay. So this machine is a version of this machine, which I did have to take apart. So you'll have to look at an older video if you want to see what that's about. So I needed the parts for this one. And this is designed so you can have four weights, one here, 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 and here. And so I use a chain, but these don't really move a lot. So you could use linkage bars, um, like you could have a, like a, a linkage bar on here. So that would work like, like that, right? Instead of a chain, but a chain works well for me and uh, the parts are inexpensive and uh, it lets me um, experiment a lot more. So the way this thing works is that this is the input and the output is this shaft here. So that's what this sprocket is for. And uh, when you turn this, it brings this in. Okay. So let me demonstrate. Let's see if we can this set up here without falling over. Okay. It is a bit harder to turn with the load, but it depends on the speed and how much load. So this machine to me is very confusing. I don't understand why it works or if it is over unity or not. Um, this one made sense to me and this is the same thing but this one doesn't make sense for some reason. So the only thing that I could use to try to understand would be, let's get a picture here, is that when you have your circle normally, okay, so your weight is like this, and its velocity would be like this, but when you put the force on here more, than the centrifugal, or centripetal, I mean, centripetal. Then, instead of going like this direction, ends up going like this direction, right? So it's like taking a shortcut all the way around the circle. But other than that, it doesn't make any sense to me. Now, there's similar devices on YouTube. If you look up a centrifugal device, I know Go Vertical has something he called the Quasar Drive. And it's the same as this, except they use gears instead of a chain. So the input is the opposite direction um, as the output, which doesn't really matter, I don't think. And also, like, I have a stop on mine because uh, that's where I determined the best place for it to be was. And um, 
what else? Um, uh, go vertical. He doesn't keep it spinning. The input spinning. So you got to keep it spinning. So you got to put more force on this weight than the centripetal. You got to overcome the centrifugal. Um, but anyway, I guess I'll have to run some more tests or put some weights on it. Because it, it just seems like... I know this is sideways, but it seems like pretty much as fast as you turn the crank, that uh, this thing turns. So, yeah, that's it.